Hello my loves, I have a reading here for someone so let's get into it. It looks like here that you may be having some childhood memories, dealing with children, thinking about the past, maybe having a little bit of longing or homesickness um, in regards to someone in the past. Um, yes, so I have that here, returning to one's roots, okay? Um, I have here as well someone, a mature emotional woman okay this so this could be an older woman this is someone that is very secure very feminine nurturing very kind um very intuitive um so it looks like they're also sensitive too but um they could also be psychic uh but it looks like you may be thinking about this person missing this person or envisioning this marriage with this person um, because I have the marriage card here happiness family happy family reunion homecoming so this could be someone you were married to um, or this could be someone you're thinking about married to or could have nothing to do with marriage and it could be a mother figure or a nurturing woman that you want to have a reunion with okay it looks like here that you dealt with some Betrayal in the past, okay? Someone could have stabbed you in the back. There could have been some unfaithfulness, um, an inability, inability to cope with a certain situation that ended in destruction. It looks like whoever this person was, they could have been someone that was abusive, a dictator. Um, they could have had a lack of independence, um, a lack of stability, a little bit of recklessness. Um, you feel like this was wasted energy. You had a, re a reality check, okay? You had a come to Jesus moment. <laughs> you may have felt like this was your only option at the time, but it looks like there may have been a conflict, an argument that happened, and this led to a di disconnection or an imbalance in the relationship. Okay, so I have unhappy couple here. And it looks like you are just wanting to move towards positivity, freedom, fun, success. You have optimism for the future. Um, you want to be able to express yourself. You want to be confident. You want to feel like your luck is, you know, turning around and that you're in, living within your truth. You're um, within oneness with spirit and you are, you know, embracing your happiness. Okay. So that's what you're looking to move forward into. Um, it looks like here I have this, this card. So this is the psychic thing again. Okay. Diviner. I believe, seer of the unseen foresight, insight, cosmic connection, okay? So this could be you or the person you're dealing with. They could be psychic. They could have um, a, co a cosmic connection, basically. And it looks like here that someone is playing detective, okay? They are trying to find out the truth. They may be getting some clues and they're just kind of pursuing the truth. They're waiting for the truth to be unveiled, okay? I have here architect. It's so funny. This came up, but not as... It architect but it was a card that kind of made me think of architect so I did mention it but it's here um and it says weaver of blueprints planning design supervision and construction okay so this could be you or someone you're dealing with it could be an architect they could work in destruction um they could be a planner a designer or of some sort or they could be a supervisor um i have here elder wisdom bearer experience tradition kindness and health okay so you could have someone in your energy that has these qualities or you could be seeking out and asking elders for advice in your situation okay maybe how to deal with this situation that ended in um, disconnection, okay? Um, I have your careerist, dreamer of grand schemes, vision, cunning. I have no clue how to pronounce that. Machination and aspiration. I'll show you the card. You guys can tell me what that says there, but yeah, um, yeah. So we have here uh, that you might be dreaming of some sort of vision. You have some vision in mind. Um, and this is something that you're aspiring to go after. I have here father, family, patri patriarch, guardian, paternal authority, ancestral passage. Okay, so you could be a father, 443 on the clock, or you could be dealing with someone that is a father. Okay. Um, researcher. So once again, somebody that is exploring the truth, exploration, study, 
rigor, experiment. So this could be you, you could be exploring at this time, researching things um, to help you with your development at this time, okay? And um, I have here ritual. To experience the magic of life, you must first practice it, okay? So you, ha you may have to um, come up with a ritual, some sort of a... Um, basically like a schedule for your day of how to practice uh, certain rituals that you know are going to help you stay balanced okay and I have kindness being guided by your heart let go of logic and rationality okay so they're asking that you try to be guarded more by your heart instead of you know overthinking situations and being more in your head okay and then I have here read the more you read the more you'll learn which is absolutely true and it's so funny because I've been reading so much lately and I've been even been doing audiobooks I went through a whole book today okay so like you know that may be something you might be looking into if you don't have time audiobooks 555 might be a great um, option for you okay and then I have everyone will hurt you you just got to find the ones you're willing to suffer for and this is a quote by Bob Marley so I don't know if Bob Marley means anything to you but he's basically saying that yes people are gonna hurt you whether it's intentionally or unintentionally and you just have to find the ones ones that you're willing to suffer for okay the ones that you are willing to put in the work and, and deal with the ups and downs for okay I have here beard so you could be dealing with someone that has a beard or you could have a beard and then I have here angel number 222 so that could be significant for you as well you also have 633 on the clock and then I have here Lord take charge with authority so you are the Lord of your life and they're asking for you to take charge with authority 644 on the clock okay and I, then I have um, Medicine Mother, Honor Your Inner Knowing. So you have something within you that is letting you know, 654 on the clock, what you are supposed to be doing or what direction to take. And they are asking that you honor this, okay? If you're not sure, you can always ask the divine for signs, okay? I have here Sky Father, trust the unknown. So this is talking about having faith, 711 on the clock, okay? Sometimes we we have to trust that the universe has our back, okay? They are not out to punish you, they're not out to get you. That is a belief that's in your head. 722 on the clock, okay? So they're saying to have faith faith that they are on your side and they want what's best for you okay so have trust and, and faith that they that you can have the things that you want in life okay and then I have here sacrifice giving up something now for future reward okay we've all got to do this we've all got to sacrifice at sometimes there may be things that you do on a daily basis habits addictions there may be um, putting effort into a situation for now until something better comes along I'm not sure only you know your situation but you may have to give on give up on something now so that you can have a reward in the future okay and this may have to do with discipline as well 808 on the clock sometimes we have to give up on sugar and things that we enjoy so that we can have the body that we want okay and that's a sacrifice so that's just one example okay and then I have here acceptance accept the past and current situations and work through your issues gracefully Okay, so yes, accept the circumstances that you are living with um, now, except the, you know, yes, things happened in the past that you may have made choices that weren't so good, but accept them and then make better choices moving forward. Okay. So, you know, a lot of times we have to accept the fact that we are in the situation that we are in and that yes, if we want to get out, we might have to make some changes in order to do that. Okay. But it all starts from being happy within your current situation. Okay, and then working through those issues gracefully and not um, causing harm to others as we're working through them, taking it out on others. Okay, so that is your reading. I hope this helped you all, and I hope you have a lovely day. Take care.